Welcome back to Gamer7 Plays Dead Space. Alright. I'm Jeremy, I'm on the controls for now. And I'm Tristano, I'm gonna be just commentating. He's here. Nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> that dude's like extra dead. And you're blind. Just like you said. I I saved this. What are you doing? For you. What is that? Thanks. Well, well, time to time Break to violate you your corpse. Sorry, lady. Just business. <laughs> Just business. Business as usual on the USS Ishimura. <laughs> yes, exactly. Business as usual. <laughs> In fact, Isaac Clark needs cards. In fact, we should design cards for him. <laughs> Professional, uh... I don't want to say decapitator. It's a term for people that... For limb chopping, exactly. Dismemberment. Dismemberment, yep. By the way, hi. I'm yeah. I'm playing My Little Pony on my mobile device, so <laughs> I won't be giving much foundry card. Yep. Call 555-ISAAC. <laughs> And have your necromorph problem dealt with today. I'm just treating this guy like shit. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I hate the corpses in the body bags because you can't dismember them. <laughs> they don't come back no life either, so. They do. I did. Are you there? Nope. We were attacked. Kendra's gone. One minute Yay. she was there, and I, I can't believe I lost her. We can still do this. Get me the captain's rig codes, and we'll find Nicole. Looks like the crew barricaded the door to the emergency wing. We have to blow through it to get to the morgue. Get some thermite from medical storage, and a shock pad from zero-g therapy. Should be down the corridor. Communication is useless in all this static. So... <laughs> so in the last episode, we started, uh, the tram. And realize we're both really, you know, rusty when it comes to playing this game. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember this game as well as I thought I did. Turns out, I was like, I'm ready for everything. I was not ready for everything. I don't think. I don't want to go this way then. Uh, last time, for those of you that are didn't really feel like watching our other two videos or whatever. That's fine. Uh, pretty much what happened was that we arrived at the ship. We received a distress call. The uh, USS Ishimura. It is a planet cracking vessel, which means that its job is to basically destroy chunks of planets and take the floating debris and refine it for whatever resources it might have. Check this out. Uh, when we were on our way in, we had a magnetic whatever issue and uh oh this bloke how were you alive yeah i don't like doing things in our order so that's fine <laughs> do things any way you like um why are you not? There he goes. Okay. It wouldn't pick up, that's why. Alright, now we have my favorite ability, telekinesis. So anyways, we came here. Our ship basically had an issue docking. A bunch of funny people died. Um... We went back to our ship and we were trying- I was reading, actually. I, for some reason, can't read and talk. A bunch of people from our ship died and then we were like, all, oh, all sad. And, uh, so we decided that we were going to fix the tram and see what we can fix on the ship to see if we can possibly get the hell out of here. Uh, we got separated from our friends, which you saw earlier. And now we are in the process of 
doing something, I can't remember what. Free to commentate while I'm playing. I'm just trying not to interrupt you. I'm just trying to think. Okay. I'm just like, I really never find the scorpion guys like they startle me every once in a while, but I never really found them scary. I always found them more annoying, if anything. Go back to your ponies. No. scaring myself than the game was. Because you're making it scary. Once you realize that the thing just pops up behind you almost all the time and it just teleports basically, you know, around you, it's not that right. I was really sad too, because like when I figured that out, I, I had no one. What I like about the Kinesis is that it doesn't have a bar. Yeah. It's just like, hold this up for a long period of time. Okay! What I really like about the Kinesis is that you can basically, like, shoot off an enemy's head and then smack him with it. Also, the claws on the arms and stuff like that can be used as a weapon. Same with the spikes on those tails. Pretty much if you're if you're like me and just at a point to start going, you know, I honestly don't want to shoot every enemy because I want to save ammo for later. To the point of you start selling ammo later because you actually have too much. Yeah. That was a fun experience. Look out. Out of all of the things they have, I think the arm spikes be the most damaged. Aside from the explosives, which I don't really count. It was! Oh. Crack rabbit! Oh, it's the one from earlier. Yeah, cut his arm up. Alright. I do not know how to swing when you're in aim mode. Uh, you can't swing when you're in aim mode. Oh, so it's just... Yeah. No, what, I'm, a, I'm a retard. It's okay, it happens. Well, reloading is good, too. That's what I wanted to do. No, but, uh, one of my favorite weapons really out of what they have is the arm spikes. You have to, like, backswing it. There you go. I got it. And since this is here, gonna be cautious. Try not to save over your uh, my other robot. other game. That would yeah. be bad. That would be bad. Like I almost did. I felt terrible. It's fine. You didn't. That's all that matters. Now, if you did, I'd kill friendship eliminated. Friendship eliminated. Yeah, yeah, I think you don't stop me while I'm in a vacuum. This is one of the honestly most realistic I think I've seen in a while for a game in, where you actually go into a vacuum. Yeah. No, that's cool. I like... There's things that I like about this game, but in terms of a horror game, I just think it, it's... Yeah, I kind of... I can't went into it thinking it was going to be a horror know, game. Is able and, to set and and gravity that's what the market is. Your grab boots yeah. will kick in when you enter in zero-g area. I've played, I've played a bit of one. I couldn't finish it. 
I didn't, I didn't like that it was both yeah, sides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, but I like two a lot more. Like two stories a lot more. But in terms of both of them being horror games, it's just. The one thing I didn't like about two is I thought it was kind of stupid that they were building, that they were doing what they were doing in the game. And the only reason I'm being kind of vague is because uh, it's sort of the big plot point is what they're doing. And I didn't like that. I thought it was kind of cheesy the way they they explain that. But, but what I did like in 2 was uh, the use of the girlfriend character. Yeah. And what she represents. I really like yeah, that. Yeah, no, I like that. That The whole resolution that you have. Yeah, the the shiny around. I thought, I thought that was very well done. But in all honesty, I I like the first game. It, I... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Like most things, I recognize its faults. And I recognize where it just isn't as good as it could have been. But I am fucking stuck. You gotta like go here. And I do can't the jump. move. Wait, what? You yeah, gotta. I know you gotta. All right, wait, wait, wait. Maybe I'm like push X. Why? Why? No idea. Keys all over the place. Okay. Controls. They be working. Yeah, I, I saw the tutorial like two seconds ago and I completely forgot what the button was. Um, <laughs> I don't know how many times I've done that. Like, son of a... <laughs> I like how he walks with the knife boots. It's all, like, heavy. Yeah, um, I actually, at first, like, one of my friends was like, well, I don't really get the stomping thing, and then, uh, another one of my Great. friends... You got a shock pad. Combine that with the thermite at the barricade to destroy it. Another one of my friends went to, uh... Explain to him why why it was so powerful, and that's because he's basically what he's doing is he's lifting his leg up, then activating the magnetic part and slamming it into the enemies. And that's what he's doing every time he does a stomp attack and stuff like that. It's kind of one of those things that I'm not sure if the creators were thinking along those lines, but they were, but it wasn't. Yeah, it's one of those things that I just kind of... Otherwise, you really would not be able to rip off your... I mean, you could after a point, but you know, it's, it's not... Maybe if all the enemies were made out of dummy. <laughs> oh god, Dead Space 3. Gummy bear. Gummy bear enemies? Hell the gummy yeah. bear enemies. I will, I will eat this is the wrong way to do well, no, I'll do. I'll have fun for about the whole five seconds, and I'll get a wicked nummy and can die. No, I think much like, much like Resident Evil Six, as much as I kind of hate to say it, I had to just not look at it as a horror game anymore, which makes me sad in some aspects. Oh, okay. But you can do that all you want, but it doesn't mean it's a good game on yeah, its man. own. Yeah, I, I don't know why you defend it. You're the only friend we know who defends that game. I, I enjoyed Resident Evil 6. How? That's like saying I occasionally enjoy being raped. Oh. And I know that's kind of a kind of an effed up statement, but that that's the closest thing I can say to that game. Because it is bad, and it is the worst bastardization of the franchise ever. It doesn't get anything right. It doesn't even get what 5 even got right. Which, in my book, is like almost nothing. But there's at least something. I hated this part the first time I came through here. I was like, the guy caught me off guard because they didn't... Because instead of him spawning in front of me, for some reason the game decided to spawn him behind me while I was passing through the area. So, I went to go through the door and then they spawned that guy in front of me and the other one followed me inside so I was like already running out of air at this point because I got stuck in the area trying to get around shit. I was exploring. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I get in there because I'm like, oh shit, my oxygen tank's about to run out. 
and then the son of a bitch gets up behind me. So the door opened, so the lock didn't seal. So it basically was like, oh, ha ha, you can't breathe for the next like 12 seconds. And then I got molested by the two guys, front and back, it was all bad. Nothing really more than annoying, I should say. At least they replaced the ammo I waste trying to shoot them. That's nice. Yeah. There was like a shiny thing or something. Maybe I just, maybe I just see. Stupid door. Why you no open? There's no power node. No, you found power something node. down there, didn't you? Yes. This we found the hiding. So the texts were right all this time. I wouldn't be certain of that. There was nothing divine in what I saw. We must embrace this. We are the first witnesses. Matthias isn't letting anyone down in the colony. It's under quarantine until we learn more. To hell with Matthias. He of all people should know that this is greater than him, or the operation, or even the company. This um, is our delivery. Ah, uh, no! I hate them! I hate them so much! I hate those things. Oh, it is hard mode. Oh, God, they're even worse on hard mode. I forgot. Oh, oh, leeches everywhere. You got the crabs. The space crabs. God, I got rid of all of you. Apparently I not. I hate them. The only time I ever kill them without taking damage is when they, when you stomp a box and they pop out of it. Then you just stomp the box again. Yeah. So, double stomp for good measure. Are they in the second game? I can't remember. Oh, I don't know. I never played it. Really? Well, I played a little bit of it, but then he returned it. Oh. You're welcome. I have this habit where I rent games at GameStop because I don't have a blockbuster. But, so, uh... So I'll go spend my hard-earned money and, and uh... Buy a game and return it within seven Yeah, days. they were they were in the the second game. I remember now. There were these really fat guys, and they would like waddle around. And if you ever shot them in the stomach, your life sucked. Yeah, I remember those. Now. Oh, they're they're, 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 in, this they're in, this in this game too. too now yeah. that I think about it. Yeah, yeah, they did bring them over to the second game. So now suddenly I was like, wait, am I just remembering the first game? No, they're in the second game. Right? Yeah. I I like I said, I didn't get far in this one. Well, I got some rounds for a gun I don't have. I guess not. I don't know. I think, uh... I actually had a statement about third game's advertising and I completely lost it. Anyways, yeah, third game's advertising as a horror game, I think it's more sarcasm at this point than it is actually advertising. I don't think it's advertising as a horror game. A intense action game with horror elements. Which, yeah, it could, I guess, get away with that. That's what I'm seeing. I don't see anything scary in any of that. It seems like more of this kind of show is gross. Because they recently showed a video of, like, the top ten, like, ways you can die in the master yeah. the, the universe. Which isn't even horror, it's just, look, needle in the eye, and other stuff. That, I hated that part. Ah, That part was stupid. Yeah, that you had to move the controller so carefully. And I didn't know that. Oh, and it wasn't just that. Uh, you had to point it into your eye. Into yeah, your... I know that. And, and then, was, no, 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 no. I kept dying all the time. I just realized how, how little you can be for me. Not really. God damn it, you always interrupt me, man. Don't even get to finish my statement. It wasn't just that you were moving it to the eye that bothered me. It was the fact that you had to move it to the eye, then time it with the movements that you had no control of. Cause I killed myself like four times doing that. I, was I killed myself. So pissed. He's backing away. Get off me, Dick. That's not scary. Yeah, after a while. I was doing it for like four to five minutes, screaming the whole way. I was so angry at that game with that point. Plus, it's something to do with the eye, and that's never pleasant. Yeah, that's it's sort of like a thing I notice. If you involve anything with fingers or eyes, for some reason that makes people cringe more. Fingernails, especially. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh. 
Uh, Higurashi. <laughs> we watched all of it. He showed me the first segment, though, and that was Trippy. Trippy has balls. First, like, three episodes of it, you see. Fingernails. Uh, <laughs> they can't use doors, right? Um, no, they usually bust through vents. The only no, time they'll use the door is if the door isn't completely closed. Yeah, because there's, there's one of them outside that door. Yeah, he's probably going to bust through the vent above your head. I think it's above your head. I forget what it is. Or right there. There's no vent above my head. Huh. You just stick one in the ceiling. I thought or they just decided not to program it. Couldn't be bothered. You know, they did that sometimes. Are you the guy from upstairs? Uh, yeah. His face is done fucked up. I, I, oh, hello, there's oh, a lot of you. yeah, there's like four of them in there. Uh, I also like how in the second game they made Stasis recharge. Did they? That sounds nice. Oh, yeah. It was one of the nicer features, because honestly, when I played the first game, I didn't use Stasis as much as I do in this playthrough. Uh, but originally I didn't use it all that much. And that was because it wasn't recharging and I was never sure. Oh, that I one has metal legs. That's why I'm wasting ammo on it. I'm like, why is this leg still on? Oh, this is gonna be fun when I finally get to play. It'll be like that time I had to fight the master in Fatal Frame all over again. I didn't my... realize there were Doctor Who enemies in Fatal Frame. Not that I master. Finally come to <laughs> it's the only one I care about. I that joke was over my head. <laughs> Miners undergoing you a transformation nope. into something <laughs> extraordinary. I must know more. Even as the believer within me wants to become one, one of them, that scientist the needs to uncover the secrets. The I need to study one of these necromorphs, as Kind so clinically puts it. I need to witness uh. this affection firsthand. Perhaps that patient. FYI, crazy doctor guy. He did it. All the crazy do every but every doctor in this game is crazy. Every doctor in this universe is crazy. Okay, this goes much deeper. Every crazy doctor ever did it. <laughs> you can't point to a crazy doctor and tell me he didn't do it. Look, look, we were talking about this guy earlier. Yeah, they got pictures of those guys all over there. It's sort of like the whole, hey, look at these things you're gonna be fighting later. I don't know. Yay, money. Okay. Well, it's about time for us to switch controllers, so I'm going to save and hand the controller over to my friend. Woo! And we will see you next time. Alright. Peace.